Red here, and welcome back to a n channel update, I guess I'll call it. And I'm going to mute the damn music, because fuck at 5 is annoying, even at 30%, that's why. Yes, the channel update. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what's going on in the channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new environment, and I'll explain that in a second. So, currently, I have one series going on on my channel. I tried to do World of Tanks, got like 5 views, you know, thumbs up, but that's about it. No one really talked about it, nobody really wanted to get into it, nobody really wanted to comment about it. So that's going to be a hiatus or not even happening type of thing. So I've been in contact with a few people for a Minecraft modded server, and this is it. Um, the reason I haven't done anything, and you can see I've done a lot, is because the server is on, is in, it's an Infinity server, so if you know FTB, it's an FTB Infinity, but it's on expert mode. So all the stuff you're looking at right now is extremely, extremely expensive to make. So it's also time consuming. And as a YouTuber, that's just, it's, yeah. So this is actually, the get set up to the point where I'm at now with food, um, power, and not great power either. That's kind of subpar power. It doesn't run that well. It doesn't run the rock crusher at all. Um, took me at least two weeks, if that, to get as far as I am. Yeah, this is it's it's a lot harder than it, it, it looks. Um, it's got industrial craft and things of that nature. So what's going to happen is, and I'll explain. It's expert mode's cool, and expert mode kind of sucks. We'll go into we'll go to thermal expansion and something simple like a tesseract, which is easy to make, that has become three times harder because you need enduring ingots, which is easy to make. Except for the only way to get shiny is to pulverize it out or smelt it out, and that's through ferrous ore. You need ender electron tubes, which you need means you need forestry, which I have a thermoconic fabricator. And you need ender pearls and end stone. We've already gone and killed the dragon. Um, you need a teleporter. So you need IC2 teleporter, you need glass fiber cores, which is requires injurium dust, which is diamond and redstone. Pulverized diamond and redstone. And that's just something for a tesseract frame. And, yeah, that's expensive. Um, and that's just simple stuff has become really expensive. Um, you know, fluid ducts, you need a bottling machine. So I need to go in immersive engineering in order to have a fluid duct. A fluctuating item duct. You know, stuff like that. So that's why this video on the server is the, technically the first video on the server, because I had to get set up. I've been, my goal is, I have a little goal sheet and tasks. Yeah, this is what I've gotten done so far. Mind the spelling, I know, but it's just easier to do short words because this doesn't have much to it. So, yeah, I've done, like, this stuff. I still have to f finish the oil, flatten the ground around the oil rig, which is a pain in the ass to do because I need water breathing. I have night vision, thankfully, under control. I need to make nuclear power. I need advanced solar stuff just to power this stuff over here to make the nuclear power stuff. I need to make a block cutter because if you want sticks, normally you go and you take a tree and you fail, you punch it down which is three times solar here. And to get a stick out of a plank, you figure, okay, I'm going to put, um, you're supposed to get four sticks in normal Minecraft. You get two here. In order to get a decent amount of sticks, you need a block cutter, is which is something I'm working for. To get a decent amount of planks, you need a sawmill. Yeah, that's the server. Uh, it's on hardcore mode. There's other going to be other YouTubers on the server, which is going to be cool. We're going to do collabs, but uh, most of the videos that will probably come out for the server are collabs and like jump cuts to certain things. Um, I already have a design of what I'm going to do, but yeah. So I mean, that's a power source, and it's not really a great one either. We have like I have a Tinker's construct, but there's no iguana tweaks in here. So the tools. As you can see, I'm using have to be like 95% paper in order to make them feasible. And that's just, that was just in um, Infinity as a whole. That wasn't just the server setup, that was just Infinity mod pack as a whole. 
which is kind of surprising because if you include iguana tweaks it makes something like extra mode three times harder because you need to have to have um, silky touch stuff and then there's Stormcraft, and then there's Botnia, and then there's Wishcraft, and then Bloodcraft, and yeah, there's things you have to go through to get certain things, tier, tech tier, and whatnot. Thankfully, I found villages and um, uh, temples, desert temples, and stuff like that. Uh, you know you need steel for a lot of things, so you need to use a coke oven, which is extremely slow. Then you need a blast furnace, which is extremely slow. And five pieces of iron becomes five pieces of steel with one coal coke. So the ratio is one to five, you know, which sucks. Not like, you know, Minecraft, you just put something in a smelter, it's one, you know, one, nine to one. You know, I have iron furnaces, but it's it's not a bad server. I'm not mad that the server's on extreme mode, expert mode. It's fun. It makes it a lot harder and lot more th things to do, and a lot more collab intensive too. Um, so when other YouTubers and stuff get on, there'll be a lot more collabing, and we're not gonna reset. The, hopefully, we're not gonna reset the server every time someone new joins, because I don't think there's a point. I mean, I'm set up to the point where I can aid people with basic stuff. I'm more set up than most of the people on the server because I've played the more hours. Um, I've played that many hours. <laughs> I think it's three days, 22 hours, 56 minutes, 36 seconds. And I joined nine hours, 21 minutes. Or is that nine days? I think it's days. That's days. So nine days ago, I played three days. I've died 26 times. Yeah, comparative to the second highest person who's played two days. But he joined 11 hours ago. So yeah. Um, he's decently set up. Um, Super Transformer is another guy who's kind of set up. And then there's another couple guys who are kind of set up, but everybody else not so much. And if you've paid attention, yes, I'm at an op, an admin. Um, that's mostly for me to be able to teleport around because it makes it, you know, YouTube easier. Um, from my standpoint, I know you guys don't, some people don't like it, but you know what, it's an implemented item that's implemented into the map. Um, comparatively, making a teleporter from IC2 is extremely expensive and extremely power consuming, and power has been nerfed. If you go into extra utilities, you pick up this mod pack and you decide to go, oh, I'm going to go extra utilities power. Uh, utilities. If you try to go into this, let's go make a lava gen. There is no recipe. They removed the recipe. The only recipes you can make are the survival generator up to time 64, furnace generator up to time 64, and if you look at this furnace generator, you need um, the uh, assembler, which I showed you downstairs. You need this is this is tier one. This and then the food generator are tier one. Uh, this is like tier two. Then you need like and and you can go. Um, I can't even do potions. I think the next can't even do solar power, solar panel, which is you know very useful. Lava is very useful. Next one I believe is now the star generator, and then I thought Ender Pearl was another one. Nope. Let's see here. No, oh, we're just now the star then. Yeah, that's your power sources, folks. In extra utilities, everything else is locked out. The same thing with um, the pump, endothermic pump. So if you wanted to go into the nether and pump out lava, you can't. You have to use, like, um, build craft, which for a server completely sucks because that's something that can lag out your server because it just leaves lava floating lava tiles. Um, I'll show you what I mean. And then I'll end this off at me going to where my home is going to be. This is just temporary, as you can see here. Um, most of the stuff will be moved, but you can see how water this water flow, because I haven't really fixed it, it makes the lava flow like this, and then that does cause, it, over time will cause lag, a lot of lag, because it's a movement, and then your server has to tick that and whatnot. But, yeah, that is um, kind of not the best thing. Thankfully, the um, ender core is still there. I prefer using that. Uh, the power source for that is going to be stupid.
I want to have to just be nuclear power all the way. Um, to make, there is um, big reactors in this server, on this map, of uh, this mod pack. That's expanding, it's steel. Not that too expensive, but like I said, five block, five pieces of steel for one cold coke block is a bit expensive. Hey, hey, hey. Get me back, come on. There we go. So if you watched anything in my series, you notice I've been on a server before, and I started working on a oil platform then. I brought it back because I really never finished it because the server just disappeared. Well, that was on my part. Um, the server company I used decided to take money out, not when I paid it, but at the beginning of the month. And yeah, credit card doesn't get cleared till like the middle of the month. That's why I bought it on the middle of the month, not at the beginning of the month. Anyways. So I'll be working on this. This will be, this is just the base, the waterline platform. There's nothing going to be here. Uh, there'll be a way to get in here and here and here and here. Um, there will be an entrance through one of the legs. As you can see at the starting at the base, if you pay attention, there is a little water tunnel being built. This is where I'll be living. So I'll be moving from here to here. Uh, the platform will be up higher, as it's supposed to be. And it's going to be a Fallout-esque. If anybody's played the original Fallout 2, this will be kind of Fallout-esque um, oil rig from Fallout 2. It's not going to have the faces and whatnot, and then I didn't really like that. I never liked that in Fallout, kind of the... We're going to put a face on the side of our building, because, you know, gargoyle type stuff. But my first priority is to freaking flatten this out to 32, so I can put, extend these rings down, so they're on the base of the floor, and then, um, there's going to be a center ring here, smaller, but it'll be here as well, and I need to extend this down, so I can connect it to, um, mainland. I was going to put in water wheels, I have water wheels at home, they are just shit for power, even still, so, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've had to do sidetrack stuff. Mostly I've been waiting for puffer fish from my fish traps so I can um, make water breathing potions because I do have the night vision goggles, which is, requires power to use. So I could refill this with uh, power and everything will be okay. So what's going to happen is stuff is probably going to be... Well, I've got set up now. So stuff was for last week or two kind of back set one video, maybe. So I'm going to put this out this week. This will be partially this week. I'm going to probably go back to the ferret business. and So it's going to be ferret business and the server. The server is going to probably be less on the channel until like, more people come on to do collab and stuff with. Because it's really heavily intensive building things. So I'll be spending like four or five hours. I'll be spending days at a time on this alone. So yeah. Um... So I'll return to ferret business. That will be more constant than the server. Uh, I'll have to spend like a day on the ferret business at a time. So that's going to have to take some stuff of that nature. The builds will be... I'll, next ver next episode of the ferret business will be continuing on the bank build. Um, I'll be putting in... Or finishing it up, putting in decorations, the windows... Um, moving, it, making more of those um, carpenter block safes to put in money and stuff like that, and then also put down some gold ingots because that makes the make the vault look cool. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna go from there. Like I said, quests. I'm kind of not doing quests because of um, just because the fact of it is pointless at the moment. There's still whip. 95% of my whip. And he's working hard on it. Uh, Keegan. Or Kagan. Calgan. Apologies. Yeah. He's working hard on it. But he's, you know, he's got a life. Like everybody else says, we all have lives to deal with. So that is about it. Um, I said I'll be working as soon as I turn this off, I'll probably work on this because this will come out before the ferret business. And the ferret business will probably come out like on the weekends. Gives me enough time to, you know, work on this and work on the ferret business. 
if I migrate my time properly. If I could remember to do that. Well, that's the end of this um, channel update style video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. I will. Uh, you guys had a good have a good day and take it easy. Uh, speed builds like I did will probably be rarer now because it wasn't. It was time consuming to edit, but um, the upload went from like 15 minutes to one hour. So yeah that's not normal for me i've got good internet just i'd hate to see that on my old internet Ooh, that'd be worse but i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you later take it easy bye, -bye.